I gradually build up my layers. I want the outside of the grate to be darker. I want to maintain the highlight in the center of the grate. Using purples, reds, blues. Varying the colors. Kind of bounce around, wash dry. Got to control the water. Dry. Lifting off just a little bit of color. I'm trying to keep those grapes looking round, giving it a three dimensional look. Drying. Like when my brush goes to the top of the screen, that's where my water is. When it goes to the lower left, that's where my rag is. Working with watercolor paint, you have to learn to control the color. Now I'm mixing a little bit of black with violet to get those spaces, those little tiny spaces between the grapes. Those little tiny dark areas will help to make to make the grapes kind of pop out just a little bit more. Switch back to my softer brush to keep that color from bleeding onto my grapes. See how I'm always going in a circular motion. I'm using there is a uh, synthetic brush so it's a little stiffer so I can control those tight details. Now that brush is a Kalinsky, so a very soft natural hair brush so I can keep my color soft. See how I paint with two brushes? Over time I build up my layers, making the colors a little bit richer, a little bit stronger, each layer that I go. I'm adding a little bit of yellow ochre for some grapes that are not quite ripe yet. They're still kind of golden colored. And then adding some magenta so it can have a two-tone grape. with magenta. I'm trying to keep the outside of the grapes a little bit darker and the inside lighter. I, when I'm painting a grape, I stay inside that one grape. I try to keep the center of the grape lighter, which helps it to appear to be round. Having the grapes vary in color, some a little bit more blue, some more purple, some more red, some with a little touch of gold, and it just makes the whole cluster that much more interesting. Variety is always good. If they were all the same exact color, it would just be kind of boring. Dry, um, dry the brush, get the excess paint off when I'm softening the color. Every time I change color, I always wash my brush. A little more red.
Building up my colors, they're getting stronger and richer, it's almost as if my grapes are ripening. I put the color on and then I clean off my brush or dry my brush as I go back over it, carefully blending the colors so the color transitions from light, from dark to the outside to light on the middle. That's what helps the grapes to have a three-dimensional look. Sometimes I grab red, sometimes violet, sometimes blue. transition of color should be smooth inside the grape. There should be no hard lines. The only hard line should be the outside edges of the actual grape. A little bit more of magenta. Make it a little more bold. A little too strong, so I wash. Pull that color, stretch it. Watercolor has a tendency to dry lighter, so you think you've put the color on the, what you want, but when it dries, it dries much lighter. So you look at it and say, oh, I need more color. So you come back with another layer. You build up the layers of color gradually, because watercolor is a very transparent paint. to have darks. Darks help make the lights shine better. Darks kind of push the spaces deep down in and the lights are the highlights where it appears to come forward.
sit here and go on for for a long time just making the colors stronger richer bolder it's such a relaxing thing to be able to just sit and paint <laughs> 